In this video we're taking a look at the BMW F10 530D N57 value 220 amp alternator. My unit was making some noise, or at least I was thinking that my alternator is making some noise and I decided to refurbish it. I've changed the bearings, I've changed the brushes and in doing so I've done some observations and I've learned some lessons that might also help you when you want to do this. The main unit is quite simple to take apart, it doesn't have a slip clutch which will allow you to remove it quite easily, the rest are just bolts. But here, here you're gonna see my first mistake and my first mistake was that I thought that I need to remove everything for the alternator to come apart and you will see me soon starting to undo and desolder the main wires for the stator which was a big mistake. You can undo and do the refurbishment or the change of the bearings and the brushes without removing these wires. So should you really want to do it, these are the methods that I use to undo those wires. However, you should know that you're able to take apart the alternator without having to touch the stator. With a bit of persuasion, the unit will be able to come apart. Here we have the stator, the rotor, the old bearing. With adequate support, you can pull out the stator. In my case, I went for using a bushing extractor that I used for the differential. However, it was a bit of overkill. I've noticed that the force needed to remove that bearing wasn't that much. So you can use a socket and a hammer to hammer out that bearing. Just make sure that you support the case to not damage it. When you place back the, the new bearing, use some oil so that it is able to slide easier and support the overall components. For the second bearing, you need a bearing extractor and to introduce the new bearing, you use the old unit and you just gently beat it back in the right place. The other thing that you want to replace if you're doing this work are the brushes. For doing that, I've seen an interesting trick which requires you to use an angle grinder to file down the soldering for the previous brushes and only after that you will use a high temperature, high power soldering iron to undo that soldering and fit the brushes that you want. If you enjoyed this video, you might also want to see the video in which we are describing the general things that can lead to alternator failure. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.